Want to breathe new life into an old pistol? Find out how on Max Headspace 9mm. All right, see if you can relate to this. You got this old pistol. You've carried it for years and the finish is worn, the grip is worn smooth, but the gun still works fantastic. It kind of sits in your safe and you don't really use it much anymore, but you really like it. What do you do? Well, in my case, I decided I really didn't have anything to lose. I would always wanted to paint a pistol. I'd seen some that other guys had done and I thought it was really cool. Didn't really see much need for it, and so I never did it. But I decided I haven't shot this in a long time. This is my uh, Springfield XD40. I love this gun, but it just kind of got pushed out of center stage and some of my other pistols took its place. So I decided I'm going to breathe new life into this. What I wanted to do is decide what kind of paint palette I want to use. Painting a gun is a highly individual thing. You pretty much can do anything you want. I looked at pictures on the internet and I decided I just wanted to go with some kind of a camo look for it. To contrast with all the other black guns that I already have. So I decided on three colors. One is a black olive. Another one is kind of a green olive. And then the other one is a white tan color. All in flat. I started with the white. And when you start to paint anything, especially something that is uh, as used and handled as a gun, you really have to clean the surface. So I went over it liberally multiple times with alcohol, scrubbing into every little nook and crevice. Once it dried, I gave it a light dusting of the white tan color. You don't want to put it on too quickly. A light dusting repeatedly applied will give you a much better bonding than if you just drench it. Not only that, but you're not going for a smooth, slick look like a car fender. You're actually trying to accomplish something that gives you increased grip and minimal reflectivity. Once I had the gun pretty well coated in this white tan color, then I started playing around with some different effects. Everything looked really terrible for a while. No matter what I tried, it just didn't seem to be very pleasing. I even went through a period of time where I thought I made a big mistake. But after a while, I, uh, I found some different things that I could lay across the gun and spray paint on to give a random edge detailing. And then I began to realize the thing that makes these pistol effects for painting so interesting is contrast. You want to have the color shift back and forth to break up the lines of the gun. That's what makes it interesting. I could have just painted the whole thing one color of green and that probably would have been fine but I found that was a little bit boring and not really what I wanted. So, it took a lot of different coats, a lot of different times, but I wound up with something I really like. And, you know, the cool thing about this is, if it wears from use, it's not going to bother me at all. In fact, it'll just add to the character of this thing. Now I really enjoy it. It's almost like getting a brand new gun. Except even better, because this is an old familiar favorite but I gave it new life. This is now one of my favorite guns again. And even though I don't shoot it really often, 
I love to look at it. And when I do shoot it or carry it, it's really special, even more so than it was before. And I think it looks a lot more cool than it ever did from the beginning. Okay, so what do we learn by this? Well, giving a gun a paint job is really easy, and it's a lot more fun than I thought it would be. It doesn't change the function, but it does change my relationship to this pistol. And I will say that the grip is much grippier now than it used to be. There's something about that flat paint. It feels like really, really fine sandpaper on my hands instead of that shiny, smooth uh, grip that, you know, Old guns, after you use them for a while, they get kind of worn smooth, so they are more slippery. But I think it's really cool looking. It's personalized. And now this is one of my favorite guns all over again. And every time I shoot it, it's like being brand new. So have fun and try it yourself. Thanks a lot. This is Max Headspace 9mm. Have a good one.